Ladies and gentlemen, 30 years ago, the 1988-89 Michigan men's basketball team capped one of the most memorable seasons in program history and shocked the world with its first national championship, claiming the crown in dramatic and unforgettable fashion. Please turn your attention to the Chrysler video boards as we take a look back on their historic championship run. Michigan's road to the Final Four started in Atlanta against Xavier. Fisher taking over, he really instilled in us, hey listen, nobody thinks we're going to win. Let's go out there and show them. So he kind of put a little bit of chip on our shoulder. They come from behind and defeat Xavier, 92-87. Next up, South Alabama, where Rice took his game to another level. Mills worked inside and finished with two dozen. You look at the type of talent that we had on our team, and we realized that if we go out and everyone play up to their capabilities, uh, we could win. I got the right three-pointer straight away. Yeah! Michigan marched past the Jaguars and into the Sweet 16. Waiting for them at Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky, was Dean Smith and North Carolina, the same Tar Heels program that knocked Michigan out of the big dance the previous two seasons. There's Robinson and a double team, 18 on the shot clock, right wing to Higgins, baseline right, right, straight, he got it down there! We kept each other accountable. You know, we had good senior leadership on our team. They kept everybody even kids. One, zero, and it's over, and the Wolverines make it to the finals of the Southeast Regional. Virginia, another ACC team, stood in their way in that regional final. But the Cavaliers never had a chance as Michigan ran up and down the floor. Rice registered another big game with 32. Sean Higgins came off the bench and buried seven threes on his way to a 31-point effort. When the offensive onslaught ended, it was 102-65. to Next stop, the Final Four in Seattle with conference foe Illinois. I remember one of the things that uh, Coach Fisher said about it. He said, if we rebound the ball, we'll beat them. We ended up doing that, and we went in with Sean and off the rebound put back. That, won the game for us, so, so that he was prophetic in speaking about that. Go to the championship. Mills outside. The three. It's Higgins. The play. Carter runs the baseline. Launches it down court. Rice intercepts. The game's over. Michigan's going to the national title game Monday night. The final was a seesaw affair with upstart Seton Hall. This was a classic championship game. They trail it by two. Rice with the three. Michigan leads. Seton Hall tied it with 24 seconds to play, forcing overtime, and then took the lead in OT with this clutch three. Trailing by one in the closing seconds, Ramil Robinson was fouled with three seconds on the clock and drilled both free throws to give Michigan an 80 to 79 lead. Here we go, final three. Ramos, baseball pass the other way. It comes to Walker and Green. Walker turns, forces, misses. Michigan has won the national title! Any sport, your season always ends with a loss. Your, your season's ending with a win, and looking at the scoreboard and said, we did it, we're, we're the national champions. We came together, we all got on the same page, all the camaraderie, the joy, the love, you know, we made it, we made it to that pinnacle. And now fans, please welcome to the Chrysler Center Corps members of the 1989 National Championship Team. Introducing the team managers, Dave Balza, Michael Drucker, Mike Harris, Alan Schrager, Greg Taylor, and Jeffrey Travis. Graduate assistant coach, Joe Zubek, and the head coach, Steve Fisher. And now our former players in attendance with us here today, number 20, Michael Griffin. Number 23, Kirk Taylor. Number 24, Sean Higgins. Number 25, Rob Palinka. Number 30, Mark Koenig. Number 32, Christopher Setter. Number 34, James Vosco. Number 35, Lloyd Vaught. Number 52, Terry Mills. And the team captains, number 55, Mark Hughes. And number 41, Glenn Rice. 
At this time, Glenn Rice and Mark Hughes would like to say a word. Good evening. On behalf of the 89 national champions, we just want to say thank you so much for all your support over the years. Coach Beeline has been terrific in having us come back together and keeping us tight with the group. Um, we just really enjoyed each other over this weekend, had a chance to talk and tell stories, and it seems like just yesterday we cut those nets down in Seattle. Most, and most of all, we just want to say thank you to you fans for supporting us through our time here and after. You guys are the best fans in the world. Go Blue! Thank you. I know you guys have heard from me way too many times. I just want all you to do me one big favor. I want our whole entire team to get in the middle, and then I want the fans along with us on three, to say the famous words, go blue. On three, everybody. One, two, three. Go blue! Yes! Michigan fans, let's hear it once more for your 1989 Michigan Basketball National Championship team. Cause I am giant We'll be breaking borders